subtitles like this are very famous nowadays on Insta Reels. And then subtitles like this which you are seeing under my screen on the lower part of my screen are very common on YouTube videos nowadays. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do both in DaVinci Resolve. So let's just jump into it. So I have opened DaVinci Resolve and as you can see, I have made a timeline and in that timeline, I have this video with the audio file synced with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it while it's selected. I will go here on timeline, click on this and then come down here, create subtitles from audio. I will click on this and then it's going to give me these options where I can choose my preferences so first of all it's giving me the language and i kept it on auto and then after that we have captions preset so i will keep it on subtitled default after that you have maximum numbers in one or two lines so i'm keeping it 42 as default because that is uh, good it can show six to seven words in one line and lines i will keep single you can go double line as well but i'll keep single for me gap between the subtitles i keep it zero it's your call if you want to increase it and uh, see how it works but for me as default everything is good and i will click on create when i click on create it will take five to ten seconds max and it will create auto subtitles it's analyzing for now and then there you go everything is done but now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna replace them put them here change the font and everything so to do that what i'll do is i'll click on one of the subtitles like let's say this one and i will come here in caption and in caption i'm gonna go to track on track i have first of all the font and i can just scroll through these and see which one looks how for me i will just keep it on open sense and then you can choose if it's gonna be regular semi bold bold italic bold italic or whatever the way you want it. i will keep it bold for me then you have size in size you can just make it bigger and smaller but i'll keep it like this and then line spacing is if you have two lines then there will be space between lines but for me i have one line so i can't show you what's gonna happen on this and kerning is the space between the letters alignment if you wanna keep it on a right side left side or in the middle i keep it always in the middle and then we have stroke then comes the transform where you can move it left and right up and down and then make it zoom in and out which is same as size kind of and then you have opacity as well after that you have drop shadow drop shadow is like if i click on it and i just change the offset you can see it's giving a bit of shadow and if will i'll have background you will see it so let me just go and make a background of it so i will enable background and there you go i have made this background and then you have outline my outline i prefer keeping it white all the time so i will just go here make it white and to me it looks good this way and then surely i'm gonna make them smaller after so let me just reposition them go small down all the way here now the good thing is i did changes for one subtitle and it's gonna apply in all of these so we're done with simple way of doing captions in davinci resolve now let's just go to a bit advanced way and i will show you how you can do it for that we need to have a plugin and it's totally free and let me show you how you can install it in davinci resolve and then we will use it i will put the link of this plugin in my description you can click and when you will click on that link you will have a page opened in front of you which will look something like this and then what you need to go is you need to go here and then you need to click on how much would you like to pay and you can pay zero and it's really fun and then click on get now when you will click on get now it will open a new page for you which will look something like this here you have to put your email and then your nickname and then check out now when you will click on check out now you have another page where you are rewarded with this plugin you just need to click on view content and then click on newer one and download it so let's just click and there you go it's downloaded now and now what i'll have to do is i have to go to my finder and open this downloaded file and keep it open and after that what i'll do is i will go to davinci resolve and then when i will open davinci resolve i'll have to go to workspace and in workspace i'll go down to console and when i will open console as you can see it have opened this place i will just go to the file which i downloaded first i will copy the snap captions dot lua so i will drag it and drop it on the console and there you go it will open this snap captions version 1.6 for you 
and to show you how you can use it let me just open the same timeline and then in this timeline i will delete these subtitles i'll go to timeline and in timeline i'll go to create subtitles from audio i'll click on it and then now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna play with this setting and i will make it nine so it take one by one word and then i will say create okay now we are done with creating subtitles of one and two words what we'll have to do now is to convert these subtitles into text layer what you will have to do is you'll have to go to effects and i will choose one of these templates for me i have chose this one and i will bring it here and i will go right till here so i can match timing of the template so you can see how it's playing and what i'll have to do now is i'll go to media pool and drag and drop it here there you go and I'll, i will delete it from here now i have it in my media pool i will go to workspace go all the way down to script comp snap captions and it have detected the subtitles uh, layer but here on the text template it haven't done a good job it is detecting simple it's detecting my timeline but it should detect this effect which i made and then i will create captions done and now let me play it for you I hope this video was to place it somewhere and make it smaller and bigger what we can do is i will just select one i will make it a bit small and come down here and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come on this select it and command c select all the other ones and i will go option v zoom and position there you go and i will apply now look all of these are copying what i did to the first one so let me play i hope this video was helpful for you guys if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and when you are exporting it that's very important and i'll just go on this deliver page you have subtitle settings and in subtitle settings you need to export subtitles and then you can choose as a separate file or as embedded captions or burnt into video i always keep it burnt into videos as uh, this is my preference and you can choose whatever you want but it is very important for you to tick this otherwise when you will render your video it will not be in the video and you will be like why is it happening